Welcome to the last assembly of the year. My name is Dr. Cook. I thought it would be nice to hear from your teachers about how they found uh, lockdown because I know a lot of you have found it uh, quite challenging um, but there's also been some, some surprising things which have come out of lockdown. So without further ado I've asked some members of staff what have their biggest challenges been? Let's find out. We've been trying to keep up exercising every week and going on jogs regularly, but that's been quite a challenge with the hot weather. Honestly, truly, I teach 150 of you guys every single week. The biggest challenge, teaching my own three kids. My biggest challenge come right at the beginning of lockdown, um, when we was hearing about um, the amount of deaths that we should expect, when we was hearing about what happened to Italy, and then I started to worry about what was going to happen to my friends and family. Working from home with a one and a half year old child, but then that has also been my favourite thing about lockdown because he's learned to speak. I have a four year old and he didn't really want to do homeschooling. My biggest challenge was I actually tried to grow a beard. As you can see, it's gone now. I've struggled with that as I'm quite baby faced. I had nothing as sort of manly as Dr. Cook's or sort of bushy and luxurious as uh, Mr. Butler. Um, I looked a bit more like Mr. Mickle, but you know, there's a couple of whiskers hanging down off the bottom. Probably eating too much food, yeah. <laughs> to not nibble constantly on food because chocolate is the best thing ever during lockdown. It's been challenging, but some good things have also come out of lockdown. I asked members of staff to tell me what things have been good about lockdown. Let's hear what they had to say. Hi, this is my living room, believe it or not, it doesn't look like a living room anymore, does it? I've turned it into a classroom. I've bought a gigantic whiteboard and I am now, rather unbelievably, a YouTuber. I met Courtney Black right at the start of lockdown. Courtney Black is a lady that does, um, she's a bit like a Duracell bunny, jumps around, does lots of um, CrossFit training. Every morning I got up and the first thing I did was work out and that enabled me to keep in a routine, keep positive um, and get fit at the same time. Having more family meals together with my husband and my two little boys, just having that time just to appreciate the small things. My highlight of lockdown has been Liverpool winning the Premier League. Best thing to happen during lockdown? Well, mm, this happened. At Robert Clack, we've got an incredibly strong community pupils and staff have gone way above and beyond to support pupils and parents and families during difficult times. Here's just a few things they've done. This and all has been incredibly helpful with putting together an incredible scheme of work for our sixth formers which actually involved a university leading a Zoom call for them to actually improve upon their coursework and I was also really impressed that the sixth formers or attended that Zoom call and were engaging with academics from SOAS, which has been fantastic. Big shout out to our science technician, Tracy, who was an absolute angel and uh, made lots of scrubs by hand. She hand sewed them for our local hospitals and um, I myself have been making reusable masks for uh, myself and my neighbours. Actually, Mrs. Webster's work on the Robert Clack P Instagram page if you don't already follow us, have a look at uh, RCS underscore PE. There have been weekly workouts, dance classes, challenges, um, and lots of information on there. Loads of students have been getting involved. That's been really heartening to see. The Year 12s have done some superb work working with some universities uh, to do some history projects. It's been very, very impressive. Um, as soon as I asked the students how they were, straight away what came back is how are you miss? How is your family me? So very beautiful and made me very proud. You guys have been out there firstly supporting me and logging in every morning to watch my lessons, but you've also been sending the message out to other people as well, which has been fantastic. So thank you very much for supporting me. It doesn't matter what money you've got. It doesn't matter what job you do. Um, that actually the only important thing in life um, is the people that you love and your family and making sure that they're safe. <laughs> Um, and I think that what lockdown has taught us all to do is to slow down, stop, 
wanting something that we don't have and actually just stop and think about what we do have. Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well at home. We really miss teaching you and doing lots of weird and wonderful experiments with you, even though they never really work. Um, we're really looking forward to being back and seeing you all in September and I hope you all have a great summer. I'm really looking forward to some degree of normality. For the past four months I've been in school pretty much every day and it really hasn't been what it should be like. And what I mean by that is I've been here but the pupils haven't. All the children, children all come back. back. <laughs> all come back. <laughs> just having a chance to teach the kids again because I miss my classes very much um, and I hope they're doing very well. It's being back in F7, teaching history to the lovely year 10s, 11s and 6 formers and I'm actually really excited to start the new year. As a teacher, the best part of your job is being in the classroom um, and missing that interaction, even if it is um, with one of these masks over my face. So I'm sure some of you will appreciate me having my mouth sealed. Um, seeing everybody and um, just all the joy that that brings. Drinking tea out of a cardinal Wolsey mug. Missing dancing in the studio with the brilliant people I teach, genuinely. It sounds a bit corny but I really, I love it and I really, really miss it. Seeing all the students at Robert Clack. Coming back to school and actually resuming uh, some form of normality and seeing the children. Uh, I've realised I actually quite like some of the kids and I never thought I did after 20 years but I've missed the students, I've missed my colleagues and I miss a place where I work and I realise that I'm really lucky to be there. Hope you're all safe, hope you all have a great summer and I'll catch up with you in September. Good luck everyone.